Hey there, Toons! Coach Z here with another video. And this one has been asked for for some time. It will show you the ins and outs of the Chief Financial Officer, or CFO. This one took a while because I needed three reports to come in to make it. Once you get in to see the CFO, there are two different things you could be doing when you get there. You can either stomp goons or operate the cranes. Let's start with stomping goons. Stomping goons in the CFO is extremely important. Without disabling goons, the craners will have nothing to throw at the CFO to cause damage. Also, if a craner gets hit with one of their search beams, they take damage and get knocked away from the crane control. Don't ever think that stompers are not necessary. They are essential for victory. A good stomper will provide craners with ammunition as well as protecting the craners from damage. So, let's demonstrate. For this, I have asked Fat Peanut Pickle Pop to help. Stomping goons is done in the same way that you stomp them in the Cellbot factory. Sneak up behind them or from the side and jump on top of them. This will temporarily disable them. If you need practice stomping goons, the simple thing to do is to go to the foyer of the Cellbot factory. In there, there is a single goon. Just come up behind him and jump and down he goes. Keep doing that until you get good at it. Once you are in the CFO, the goons are slightly different. They start out small. These ones you can simply disable by bumping into them. As the CFO gets damaged, however, the goons will get bigger and bigger. You just keep stomping them and avoiding their searchlights. Notice that each time you stomp a goon, he emits a tune-up item. Be careful taking these, as they may be needed later when the craners get low on laugh. As the goons get bigger, their helmets will turn from yellow to orange to red. The damage their searchlights do gets higher, and the tune-up item they emit gets better. Be aware that the damage done by the searchlight is always more than the healing done by the tune-up item, so avoiding those searchlights is important. However, protecting the craners is more important. If you have to take some damage from a goon in order to prevent that goon from hurting a craner, do it. You can always recover some of that laugh with the tune-up item. Craners who are free to do their job will make the fight go very quickly. And Toons, I know those big red goons are scary and do a lot of damage, but do not run away from them if you are a stomper. When those red goons come out, that's the moment when you, as a stomper, will be needed the most. Keep those red goons disabled and the craners can do their job without interference. Remember, without good stompers, you cannot win the fight. Now, let's talk about craners. Unfortunately, Toontown has no way for you to practice developing the skill to operate a crane outside of actually operating one in the CFO. However, remember that you have the lives of seven other Toons on the line in there, so unless you are experienced or there is a crane that nobody is taking, just content yourself with being a good stomper. Your time to crane will come. The first few times in the CFO, please don't grab a crane. Chances are you will be in a group that already has several experienced craners. As your level rises, you will get your chance to practice this skill. Craning is tricky business, which is why Mata Harry instructs you in crane operation each time you go. I have asked Fat Tubby to give us a demonstration of the craning technique. Notice that the magnet on the crane swings. This takes some getting used to. The idea is to swing the magnet over disabled goons or a safe turning on the magnet with the control key, then holding the control key down to keep the goon or safe on the magnet. Swing the crane around and back and forth, letting go of the goon or safe so it flings it at the CFO's head. Beware, Toons. If there are goons available, always throw a goon. There are two reasons for this. When you throw a goon at the CFO and it hits, the goon is destroyed in the process. This will keep the goon population down. You get too many goons wandering around, the stompers will not be able to keep up with them. Two, you will always cause damage to the CFO throwing a goon hard enough. This is not the case with safes. While safes will cause a lot of damage to the CFO when he is stunned, he will grab the safe and use it as a helmet if he isn't. Once the CFO has a safe helmet on, nothing will hurt him. You will have to throw another safe at his head to remove it and it will sometimes take two or three throws to get it off. So, if a goon is available to throw, throw a goon. The bigger, the better. 
Now, it is possible to pick up a live goon with the magnet, but they will squirm around and pull themselves off the magnet. So I do not recommend picking up live goons since that only wastes time. The exception to this rule is when you want to pick one up to get it away from you by flinging it somewhere else. The other thing you can do with a safe is to drop it on goons. This will destroy them. This is a good technique to use if the goon population gets too high. If you continue to throw goons at the CFO's head, he will eventually be stunned by one. At that time, Toons, and only that time, you can throw a safe at the CFO and do some damage. Be careful, however, Toons, as he can become unstunned rather quickly. And if he does that while you are about to throw a safe, he will turn that safe into a helmet. So it is always safer to throw a goon if one is available. Now, aside from the goon attacks, the other thing the CFO will do is throw gears at you. He will look first and then throw. Stompers generally don't have to worry about this, as they would always be moving around to find goons to stomp. Craners, however, have to stand still. At that point, you can step away from the crane and back up, coming back to the crane once he is done throwing the gears at the spot you were standing and missing. You can then go right back to the crane. If he hits you, however, he not only knocks you away from the crane, but the crane becomes disabled for a short while. So if you get good at it, you can step away, let him throw, step back, and pick up right where you left off. But remember, Toons, you are a team. Stompers are just as important as craners, since stompers provide the ammunition for the craners and protect the craners, so they can do their job quickly and efficiently. If you are stomping, please don't stand by a crane begging that tune to let you try. You are a team. Everyone in that team is important. Your chance to try the crane will come. Hopefully, the makers of Toontown will come up with some way for Toons to practice craning when they don't have the lives of a team on their shoulders. That's it for this week, Toons. See you next time.